In this video you will learn how to make a timer between scenes in Unity. First, create a canvas. This is very important because a canvas can read text and other UI elements also. Add a text mesh pro, but first import TMP essentials. Now, when you have imported it, move the text and set anchor point to top right. Now, don't forget auto size and alignment. Type the timer value inside. After you added the timer, add a UI button. The button is also Text Mesh Pro, and you should also set it to auto size. Ever wonder what does this button do? First of all, this will be the button for starting and stopping the timer. But how? I will explain it in this video. After you type start timer, copy the button and type stop timer, because this button will stop it from playing. Because if you are starting the timer, you should also stop it if you don't want to increase, if you want to make a break from your game in Unity. The third button will be next scene. I will explain it later. You should copy the scene and rename it Scene 2. You can give it any name, if you want. In this scene, you just need to change to Previous Scene, the button that I'm showing right now. The sample scene can also be renamed. Do it if you want. Don't forget to add the scene. You can do it by pressing Add Open Scenes or dragging the scene inside. But first, instead of adding component on the canvas, you need to add a game object that will group all the buttons. Do the same for the next scene. And in the game object you need to add the component, c -sharp script. After you added the game object, you need to add the c -sharp script and add it into both scenes. Don't forget, because it won't work if you don't add on both scenes. Now you should enter Visual Studio and it's time for the programming part. Public, bool, timer on, to determine when the timer is on or off. This component is important, time remaining, because it's the float value of the timer. Public, text mesh pro UGUI because text is considered a legacy format and this TM Pro component can be read only by Text Mesh Pro UGUI. Introduce the timer on value in void start and check if the time remaining is larger than zero and if the timer is on. Time remaining is subtracting from time delta time. Update timer. Do you see the red line? It's because we didn't add update timer yet. Now, after you add it, it won't be red anymore. But for increasing values, this line will increase the time value every second. Timer plus equal 1. If the time remaining is less than 0, then time remaining would be 0 and timer won't increase anymore. Timer on equals false. Now, this line is very important, math floor to int. This can floor the float value into integer, timer divided by 60. And seconds, you use the percent mark. Timer text dot text. You should make the text object read the timer values. String format. Now pay attention to the concatenation. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Just type as I'm typing, minute and second, that's the format of string. 
Now add some voids that will be powered by buttons. Start timer. Timer on equals true. Stop timer. Timer on equals false. Public void next scene. To move to the next scene, use scene manager. Unload the first scene. For the previous scene, it's the zero scene. These voids can be added to the buttons. Save the script and do this. Make sure to drag the timer in the on click actions. First drag the text to both scenes. That will be the timer text. Now you can add the buttons. You can give them some names if you want. Game object, drag it and go to timer start timer. Do the same with all buttons. Game object drag it here, game timer stop timer. Drag the game object and do next scene. Do the previous scene in the next scene, which is the scene 2. And do the same start and stop timer. Let's try to play and see what happens. Timer not working? It's decreasing. Let's go back to the project and fix it. Plus equal. It was my mistake. Now simply try to fix it. To make the timer enable or disable, check if the timer is on. Now it's increasing. Great. But it's not working fine. Time remaining should be removed from the else. Because it typed time zero. Now you should stop the timer. You should stop the timer and it's working, but moving to a second scene doesn't work. If you want, you can change the timer to 000, which is defined when you start the project. Do not use don't destroy because it does not work with time objects. Use player prefs. Timer value is the value from the player prefs. Time remaining would be controlled by that value. Get float time value. If the timer is increasing, you should set the player prefs value. Set the float value every time the timer is updated. And say it before update timer. Player prefs set float time value time remaining. Let's try again. Click timer on on every game timer object because it's important to work between scenes. I just have one problem because my timer has been updated. To prevent this from happening, there are two possible solutions for this problem. The one solution is to add a reset button. Then you would need to add a public void reset, which will reset the time back to zero. Like this player prefs should update by setting time value to time remaining and you should update the timer in the reset button but you can also delete the time value key by saying player prefs delete key every time you quit the game by saying void on application quit both ways are acceptable so if you add on application quit you don't need the restart button but you can add it if you want I hope this tutorial has helped you make your timer work between scenes. I need to make some more elementary things in Unity because it's important to determine when every project has its own solution. Because there are many problems for beginners and they don't know how to fix. So stay tuned to the next tutorials from Cosmobot Games. Goodbye.